Hello, friends. How are you? Happy Friday night. Hopefully, um, the camera's working and we're all good tonight. How you doing? How was your week? It's a comfy, comfy night tonight. I'm in a comfy, comfy night. Well, comfy, comfy all day. How you guys doing? Just check in and let me see. I don't know if it's working. Oh, there we go. There we go. I see it now. I think it takes a little bit. Do I count down? Um, I'm not sure how this works because I'm not watching on the other end. Happy Friday night. How you guys doing? Um, hi, guys. Oh, so many of you. Hi, Patty. Hi, Lee. Sonia. Yes, I have. I'm, I'm channeling my Barbie tonight. Hello, Raquel. How you guys doing? Hi, Stacy. Risa. Ah, what a week. Uh, crazy. Hello, my stamping studio. Hello, Kelly. How are you? Hi, Carol. Oh, so many friends here tonight. I love it. Um, gay saving me from the day. This week, anybody else feel like it just, uh, it blew by. Like this was, I can't believe it's Friday. I'm like, how are we at Friday already? Um, that was, are you recovering a bit? A bit. And then started a lot of work stuff now, right? So I feel like my days just fly by. Do you have those days where you get things done, but you feel like you accomplish nothing? And that's kind of what my week was like. I feel like I didn't accomplish anything, but I did get some sleep and I did get some work done. So yes, my sweatshirt. Don't you love it? Uh, forever 21, which I'm forever 75, but they had a whole Barbie collection this year. And the best part was every shirt had a um, little like uh, Barbie Corvette, like about this big, kind of like a jelly tag. So I'm for sure going to make some kind of um, uh, some kind of mini album or something with it. Sleep is good. I needed it because I, I think it will still take me a little while to catch up. But this week, you're glad it's over. I'm glad it's over, but I don't know. I feel like I need I need the time. I had some issues with my website and just lots of things that require time, but you don't feel like you accomplished anything. So it's kind of how it went. I posted the layout from Wednesday. It's across from me. I'll grab it. So I was glad that I actually glued everything down, finished that. Um, if Do you mind if I reach across that? Uh, sorry if I'm out of screen for a second, but I'll grab that. I'm going to walk around. It's going to be easier. If I lean across the table, I'm going to drop something on the floor. So if you were here last, hi, how are you? If you were here last Friday, you know that I started, um, we were talking about the gel crayons, the new ones that came out with color study. And then I did that for so long that I had to do a part deux. And that was on Wednesday. So if you didn't catch it, you will want to check that out. But this is what I made. And that's how I finished the page. Oh, it's always backwards on this camera. So we made the flowers. And then I stamped some stars and carried the black through. Ooh, again, it's all backwards. So finish that one up and love it. Love how that turned out. Going to do some more with the... Um, gel crayons you like my earrings tonight can you see that they have like an acrylic cloud yeah fun i just took them off and put them back on because i'm like this doesn't really go with my sweatshirt today and then i went who cares <laughs> right nobody nobody's gonna see me only everybody that's watching here tonight right so glad that i finished that and then thinking about tonight i think it's going to be another case of let's just play with the texture pace let's make this um a texture pace kind of uh, exploration night. So we'll just kind of play with the texture pace, um, do a couple of different things, and then uh, next week we'll make some projects out of it. Get back on our track with doing things that we can add to um, make a card, a layout. So if I prep everything, then we'll be good. It wasn't backwards. No, I mean, it's hard for me with the camera is opposite like opposite for me with on my laptop. So it throws me off a little bit. You found gold glaze, very exciting. I love it. The gold, the silver, the iridescent. 
they're all back in stock. So if your store is like, oh, they're out of stock, they or uh, they don't make them anymore, they're there. They're all in the warehouse at um, American Crafts because I did uh, had them do an inventory of uh, product that's available so I can put an order in for some things and they are there. So all of the glazes, the gold, the silver, the iridescent are all there. So um, definitely if you um, have been looking for them and you're not sure, they're there. It's there. Okay. Hi from England. I love it. It's late for you, isn't it? Um, yay. What is this? And then I will be, I'm, I'm going to take, will you be selling gold glaze on your website? I will be Carol. Scarol. Hello. I am going to take a little store break so that I can clean up and do some inventory and um, get it all planned and fixed up. And then I will be doing, I have a whole bunch of stuff to stock, foundations, paper, glazes. I'm going to add more of the art, uh, the um, art crayons, the gel crayons and the texture paste. So it'll all be coming. And it, you don't have to wait for me. Reach out to, there's lots of stores on here tonight and see if they have it in stock. And I'm sure they'd be happy to sell it to you if you don't want to wait for me. So um, yes, let's spread that love around. Hello from Australia. Just got some texture paste and looking forward to it. Um, seriously. Yes. Look at that. It's, it is totally neon. It's freaking awesome. Love it. I love it. Uh, we're just going to do some things tonight, a whole bunch of things so we can figure out um, how it works. So if you get it in the mail or you purchase it at your um, favorite store and then you don't know what to do with it, hopefully tonight will help. So at least you'll crack those containers open, right? Vicki, are there any color study kits left to be added to your shop? Yes. Yes. Um, not a ton, but I do have them. But like I said, that was craziness. It was awesome. I just love how excited everybody uh, was about all of that. And I just have to figure out, like, I have to clean up inventory, um, put everything kind of away so that I can then stock the store. So yes, I've had a lot of you email me about the kits and I will definitely put the ones who've emailed me on a list. So I will reach out to you. Um, I haven't forgotten you. It's just it's a lot. I was mailing out today things I had missed in kits, prizes, and I haven't drawn the prize from last week. So I just realized that as I'm saying it, I did a whole bunch of others and I haven't. So um, I will get that posted tomorrow. So just check back on. Um, yes, see, and Lori said it as I was saying it, as I'm saying it. So I will post it on both of those, like on the YouTube from a national scrapbook day celebration and on the facebook i mailed out i think about 10 other prizes for other things that was owing i just need to it's always just catching up right so um got your um yes okay so let's answer questions and i'm only going to say it once and then um just let anybody know who shows up that she talked about it at the beginning and uh, you can just watch it from the beginning for that info. I am currently working on, that's what I started today, instructions for the Simple Stories class. This one, sweet things, sweet little things. I'm writing the instructions. And then I will send an email out that uh, with a date for the live class and with a link for all of the info. And this one. And then I start on this one. So they're coming. I haven't forgotten you guys. It's just literally catch up time. And that's what I'm working on all weekend is instruction. So I feel like it should be good by early next week. All of that will be planned. All the info will be sent. Okay. So it's coming. Do you have any simple stories kits? None. Lee, those ones sold out. Like I think I have one to make the sample with like in the class. It, they, those were crazy. I should have ordered way more of that. That product line sold out at Simple Stories like immediately. So you couldn't even order more. So no, that one's gone. I don't think I got the Sweet Things kits. How did I do that? I don't know, Janice. Um, but yes, it will be good. I'll do access only as well for that one. So if you can source, look for a collection kit, the ephemera, 
some cardstock, an album. I did Robin Egg for that one. So, and then just get some extra papers and stuff and you should be fine. I did mix in that kit some um, Heidi Swap as well, but uh, you really could do that one. You could do totally do that class if you could get the collection kit and maybe some extra papers that coordinate with it. So if you want to play along with the access only, you can totally do that. The Disney kit, there are kits left for the Disney album. So like I said, uh, I will put it out there and then send a newsletter out again. Uh, but like I said, I'm going to shut the store down for a little bit so I can do inventory and restock. But I have to step away because if I'm filling orders at the same time, I, I feel like I'm not getting a step ahead. So I'm going to do all of the things. Um, I am a, I love Barbie. I love her. And I'm sure my daughter looks because I had another Barbie t-shirt on this week with pink flower jeans. <laughs> and I went to the grocery store. And I'm sure that um, it, my daughter is like, oh my goodness, you're an old lady with Barbie clothes on. And I'm like, yes, yes I am. And I'm happy with that. Um, Amy Tan will be coming as well the Amy Tan kit, I'll be posting all of that stuff. So it's all happening. Like I said, it just, it's the Amy Tan instructions are done. I just have to drop in the photos and I have to write the other one. So we're good. So tonight we are going to play with the texture paste and it's going to be fun. So I have stencils, even if you have the uh, texture paste that came out with, I don't remember which one it was, wildflower and honey, maybe. Did that other texture paste come out? Even if you have that one, you can play along with these techniques. But at least you'll see what the these colors are like because they are neon and fun. It's very bright and summery, and I love it. So I also grabbed the ready-to-use mixed-media paper because I'm going to show you how we can elevate it and just add a, a layer of texture on top of some of those backgrounds. And I have foundations paper, and I have a mister, and I have water. And we're just going to do some things. And if the Robins are out there tonight, I'm wearing your shoes. And I owe you an email because um, I didn't see the letter that you sent. So if you think I'm a weirdo, I, I, well, I am, but I didn't see it. So I didn't respond to that. So I have, I owe lots of people emails, but it's coming. So are you ready? Let's flip the camera and get started. So if you have any questions, just throw them out here because I'm right here. I can see them. Um, and if I miss you, because sometimes I do, right? I miss the questions um, because I'm working. So just ask again or hopefully somebody will help you if they're out there as well. Seriously, Robin, love them. I'm wearing the shoes right now. They're now my house shoes. Like I wear my rainbow and I didn't even know they were embroidered until you guys posted yours. I looked at them and went, oh, so cute, and didn't even notice the tongue on the shoe that you guys did that. And I'm totally going to do that with the Vans. Going to totally do that. So thank you for sharing all that info. Literally was cleaning up today. Hadn't even really unpacked the box you guys sent me and did it tonight and found all the things and then felt like a dink because I had messaged you more than what, like I'd thank you and I loved it, but then I read the letter and all the rest of it. So um, yay. So let's flip the camera and do the things. You ready? Yay. Let's go. So how's this looking? Is the light okay? I always wonder, what does it look like when I flip the camera? Is the quality okay? It's a very weird thing that I can adjust the quality on my laptop, but I can't on my phone. So I hope it's doing okay and it all looks good. Show your shoes. I'm going to take one off. Are you ready? I'll show you. So the Robins sent me, do you see that? V Boo Queen. Isn't that hashtag V Boo Queen? So they got shoes made and sent them to me and I love them. So I've been wearing them all day. And my bracelet. I have my bracelet on too. They sent me some jewelry for my old lady birthday. So yes, yeah, super fun. So good. Good. I'm glad because it's hard to tell on my laptop. Um, if the picture is good. So let me move this because it's easier. So just give me a second. Isn't that fun? Yeah. So much better than the Blair Witch. I know. Aren't you very proud of me that I'm learning the things? Yeah, I'm glad that um, it's better than the flip around. So just one second because I'm noticing if I let me adjust this light. 
because there, I think that's better. I think that's better. Good. So how you guys doing? How was your week? Everybody doing well out there? All the colors to do all the things. Seriously. Huh. So, um, like I said, I had was on the phone lots this week. That's how was your week? That's what I feel like I did. I was on the phone, straightening things out, figuring out technical things and trying to get help. And, and um, I slept all day on Monday, the whole day I was out because that, that was a lot. And then I did an extra live on Wednesday. So it was, um, please say, Mary, my daughter, bet you wouldn't notice an old lady like me. See, hi, Mary. Of course I would notice you. Uh, oh, it's Marie, though. Sorry, Marie. I apologize. I said Mary. Hi, Marie. How are you? Of course, I notice all of you guys. Sometimes I miss it, though, right? I just finished. You just finished putting your color study album together. That's awesome. One of the ladies that uh, lives locally came and picked my album up because she's like, can I use the uh, album to finish my project? And I'm like, sure you can. Sure you can. You finished your album today and was so excited. I adore it. I'm so glad. Right. And you got your second COVID shot. Did you get sick at all? Is it? It's Raya, right? Um, did you get sick at all? Hard for me this week. Trigger day. Sorry about that, Irene. Tonight, let's not even think about that stuff and just have a good night making. Um, but I hope these help, right? So I have stencils tonight. I do not have the product you are using tonight. Is there something else I could use instead? Art crayons. You could do a lot of this. the techniques with art crayons. These are like thick, so they're going to be fun just so you can see how they'll work as a texture paste. You know what I forgot, friends? I have to walk away for a minute because in all the craziness, I need a piece of black cardstock. So um, I'm coming right back, all right? So you're not going to hear me for one minute. I have to run into the other room. I was so organized, and then I wasn't. Just a sec. Back. It's kind of uh, banged up, but it will work. I had forgotten that. And you're going to want to see this on black. Sorry about that, friends. Talk, yeah, just talk amongst yourselves for a minute. Do you remember when you were in school and your teacher would have to go out? And that's what they'd say. Just talk amongst yourselves for a minute. And it would be the only time that it'd be okay to be talking in class. But we, we need this, even though it's a little beat up. It'll work. Hi from Hunter Huntersville, North Carolina. I love it. Yes, and mixed media and artful techniques is a lot of fun when you give yourself permission to play. Can you mix other colors into Tim Holtz texture paste? Sure you can. Sure you can. You can mix his ink in there if you want to. It's not they're not going to be as pigmented as these, but definitely if you just want something to play along with, just grab what you have. You know what I say, right? Grab what you have. You're in lockdown in Nova Scotia. We're still in lockdown here too. We're still in lockdown here. Uh, my husband is just very sad that the, our lockdown includes the golf courses being closed. And he is having a really hard time with that because it's a year he had to give up his hockey and he was very much looking forward to the golf. And now that's not happening. So I'm going to get started. Okay, so we have the texture paste. So the idea with these, um, this is the second set of texture paste we did. They are matte. So even when you open it up, let's find a color you can hopefully see on camera. They look very glossy, but when you use it, it will dry matte. So these colors are incredibly vibrant. It is like a heavy body texture paste 
but they're also water soluble. And I'm going to show you all of the things and they come in. The set comes in six colors and you get a little plastic palette knife with it. You're never late to the party, my little Margie. Um, and from Alabama too, I love it. We have people all over the place, right? Yes, Mother's Day. Yes, Carol is saying that this is a hard Mother's Day for her because she lost her mom. And uh, hug, I will hug my mom for you 100%. Uh, it is tough, I know. Um, I don't think that ever gets easier, but sending you lots of love, my friend. Lots of love. Yeah. And right. Are they sold in only sold in sets? Yes. You know, with my, um, my mixed media with through American crafts and they will be one and done too. It will be one of those things that when these are sold out, they more than likely won't restock them. So it's like, um, we'll enjoy it while it's here. <laughs> it has a short, short life and we'll enjoy them while they're here. I absolutely adore the colors in this one. This set is a lot of fun. And then I went with the names that are all like, um, I was thinking sour candies. So kiwi sour and grape sour, uh, blueberry sour, peach sour, lemon sour, and watermelon sour. Isn't that fun? Yay. So yes, I will get to see my mom, but that's, it does come with a palette knife. This is what comes in the package. So fun. I often use this one just because I like the feel of the other Vicky Booten palette knife and the art wedge, but it does come with a palette knife that works just fine as well. I just bought the new Tim Holtz color. Can't wait to get them. I can't wait to get them too, because they're all still at my U S address. And until I get my next order, I'm not going to have them for a while. So this is what they look like dry. See, they're completely matte. So I did a couple different little samples. So when we do it as a texture paste, it's going to take a little longer to um, dry when they are uh, thicker. And then um, I'll take your purple if you want the others. Yeah, Kristen. They're, but they're beautiful. These are a lot of fun. We're going to have fun with them tonight. So I thought easiest thing is I'm going to open them up first. Oh, and I just grabbed a new foundations paper because um, I wanted, I'm going to do something in here tonight so I can show you when it is already a background that is completed. This was literally, I literally just ran upstairs and put some makeup on because I was hanging out today with a clean face and then went, oh no, I have to go on camera and I'm going to scare everybody. And then grabbed a new pad of foundations and the stencils I could find. And I thought it would be good. So I have stencils I'm going to play with tonight. Um, we'll do the kissing technique because it's what we do. I have stamps here, but I don't know if I'll use those tonight. I don't feel like we need to do all the things. Let's just kind of get everything started. And then um, we'll have something ready for next week. Because I don't know, we have to talk. I, I make the layouts all the time, but I also would really like to start doing some other stuff too. So um, we'll think of something, right? Hi from Iowa. And I don't know if any of my design team is here tonight. I, If they are, I'm sorry if I miss saying hello to you guys. Thank you for the amazing job that you guys did um, on National Scrapbook Day. It was awesome. And thank you to Natalie for helping me out in my class. And now we gear up for the next one, right? We gear up for the next one. I have, I will have a couple new class kits coming out. After I finish up these ones, get the weekends booked. I will start on that stuff. And uh, sorry, this is brand new. So I had to take that off. If you're new here, this is the mixed media paper that I use. It is through my brand with American Crafts. It's 140 pound, heavy, bright white, smooth cardstock that is great for wet mediums. So um, this is what I'm going to be using tonight for part of it. And then I'm going to use the other paper, which are backgrounds that are on a heavier weight paper. It's not as heavy as foundations paper, 
but um, it will be awesome for playing with some stuff. You sort of scrap lifted Natalie today. That's awesome. Yay. I just received the email saying ladies league canceled until further notice. I know it's just, it is what it is. Right. And then it's super cold here. So they did our roof. We had to get our roof replaced. That happened this week. And um, then they opened our pool. So um, it was a kind of a busy week, but it's freaking freezing. It's nowhere near what the normal temperature should be. Is anybody else experiencing that? Or do you have nice hot weather where you are? But it is cold, like way below seasonal. Like it should be around 18 to 20 here Celsius. Um, and it was four, four degrees. Not on your design team, but I am one of the owners of the red hole, red, the rabbit hole designs. And I think my D team needs all of these. Yes. And hello and welcome. Um, yay. Feels cold here too. What is cold in Ontario? It should be like, um, I don't know, like high sixties this time of year, like 70 maybe. And it is freaking freezing. Like, I don't know what is, I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. What is like four or five degrees? It's, I don't think it's even 50, is it? It's, it's freezing is what it is. And it's stupid. Like Rich had to go out today, was um, cleaning up boxes and stuff in the garage and had a toque on, a hat, if you're not Canadian. Toque is a knit cap, but that's what we call it, a toque. Like I wouldn't say a hat, I'd say a toque. So I'm going to say toque. Never thought I would be happy living in Perth, Australia, but we are um, out of mask wearing everywhere again. Now only hospitals, public transportation, and venues over a thousand people. Holy moly, Leanne. I don't even, like, I always look at it. And are you rolling out lots of um, vaccinations? Like, is that because you guys are almost all vaccinated? I don't even know when I'm going to be comfortable not wearing a mask, to be honest with you. Like, <laughs> going to have post-traumatic stress. So I'm going to show you these again right out of the container. So I'm going to grab the sheet I used already and just flip it. No, oh, I think I hear my husband or my son. One degree here in win winter peg, right? With wind chill. It's craziness. Craziness. Um, we had massive hailstones a couple days ago. Yeah, that's crazy. So I'm going to put it on the back of this page so you can see what these look like. So when you take it out, oh, when you open it the first time, it'll have like a little cover on there. I always tap them like this so you're not getting a ton of product in the uh, piece that you're going to peel off, right? So I always just kind of tap it so that I don't have a big mess. Hey. Hi, honey. Hey. How are you? Hey. Sorry, that's my son coming to talk to me. He's a working man now. He is on his co-op, work co-op for accounting. So I don't get to see him as much. So look how nice and thick. Oh, I love them so much. That color is so freaking vibrant. It's awesome. So that one is the yellow, which is called Lemon Sour. Hi, Robin. I'm wearing the shoes. Because I am i don't know if both Robins are here tonight. Um, and now here is the Peach Sour. So like I said, it comes out like a thick texture paste, super heavy body paint. Look at that. And if you are brand new, let me show you on the next one. When you load this, they're so comfy. I love them. You're both here. I love it. And was saying that it was a dork and didn't even realize you had put a note in there. I didn't even realize till you showed me your shoes that they were embroidered with my name on them. Such a dork. Look at that pink. I love it. That is watermelon sour. So when you load a palette knife, if you're new to mixed media, you never load on the front. 
I try to keep everything as clean as possible. So see, I get it all set up and you load the bottom of the pellet knife because it has this little bend in the arm, right? So it's gonna be impossible to put it down if you put it on the top of the pellet knife. Less is more, you can always add, but you wanna be able to control it so it's not a mess. So then I put it kind of sideways on an angle and then just kind of drag it. Oh, isn't that fun? So I'm showing you guys right out of the jar, if you want to use it as a texture paste, and then let's go to neon color texture paste. What? I know. I know. Is it Jose? Is that how I say that? Or Josie? Um, or in purple. They're so fun. If you have press and seal, you could put it in your pots. 100% could to help them not dry it as fast because they are in plastic containers. And it is. I would say exactly. It is the consistency. Like, look how heavy that is. So it is a beautiful texture paste. And then there's your purple, which is grape sour for all my purple lovers. Yay. I don't have to put the lids on everything right away, but it is just force of habit. And then the blue, which is called blueberry sour. Again, just load it up. This is what it looks like. Oh, love it. And so they look shiny right now, but when they dry, they're going to dry matte. And that is my choice. It's just what I prefer is I can always make them shiny by adding um, glossy mediums in them. But for the most part, I am quite happy with matte finish. Love the purple. It is super pretty, right? Yes. Temperatures. So how fast do they dry? Totally depends on the humidity in your house, in your area, right? If you are in a super, super humid home, they're going to take a little bit longer. Just like anything, just like your hair takes longer to dry, your clothes take longer to dry, the mediums are going to be no different, okay? And then this one is Kiwi Sour for my New Zealanders. Oh, I love it! So that is the color palette. And so they look shiny right now because they are wet. But when they dry, they dry matte. Okay? Okay. So I will set that aside, but I wanted you to see that. What I should have done here, let's do it right now. We're going to do a rainbow background lickety split. Quick, quick, quick. So I'm going to clean my palette knife off on my sheet of plastic and we'll do the kissing technique. So you're going to see you need very little because they are heavily pigmented, but I'm still going to wipe stuff off. So let's do a quick rainbow background. Hi, Natalie. How are you? Yeah, I love the texture paste. They, you can use them like a paint just by diluting it. You can use them as a texture paste. You can use it as a watercolor. You're going to find it is a great product. Great product. Love it. Okay, so I have that on here. I have a cup of water. It's from Wednesday, but it's still clean. <laughs> and we're going to just water this down and create a watercolor. And let's just create a really pretty watercolor background. Now, I don't have a ton of pigment on here, right? So it's going to be a little on the lighter side. But what we do, remember, is we can build... by just putting another layer on top. So you can't hardly see that, but I'm all right with that for now. Just put that down. Let's maybe go into some yellow. I can't wait to show it to you on the black because it really pops. And before I even showed you guys, Brienne had done something showing what they look like on the, um, on the uh, black cardstock and it was beautiful so I'm very excited for you guys to see that when we get to it it's chilly Pennsylvania yes it's chilly Ontario Canada as well as I said it is not 
anywhere near what the seasonal temperature should be. And it's very annoying. Because I'm okay with it not being super warm right away. Okay, that happens. I'm not okay with it being freezing. Like you need a winter coat on today. What is up with that? Oh my goodness, I love this. It's like yellow highlighter. So let's put kiss that down. Blend it in with the green a little bit. Love it. Just breaking that up a little bit. So just keep in mind that it's going to be a little thicker like an acrylic paint. So play with your water uh, to product ratio. Okay, if it's a little too heavy. Oh, there's my hair. Um, just put some more water in it. Let's get that out of there. We don't need the DNA. There we go. Will you come out with black foundations paper? I don't know, maybe. But here's my concern with black foundations paper is um, the paper has dye in it, right? So when we put wet mediums on, it would take a lot of work to make sure we had a good medium that isn't going to, when we add water, isn't going to um, release the black pigment. So we probably, I would love to do that. Can you use any plastic? Yes, you can use packaging. I like something that has a little bit of body to it just because it's easier to hold than say like uh, packaging, like just a uh, uh, thin cellophane packaging, but you can use either. Yeah, anything like that, right? We had snow last year this time. Yeah, but I'm done. I don't want snow. I'm gonna go back in with that green. I don't need that reminder. Sandy, I hate it. I'm done. And you know, I tried to just like, I laughed because one of my friends said, you must be going stir crazy being in the house with like for as long as we have with lockdowns. And I'm like, well, I'm just working all the time. So I said, if anything, us being locked down has helped, right? Uh, because I can get work done without expectations of people wanting me to go out for dinner or anything because <laughs> I can't. So if I want to work, you know, seven days a week, I can work seven days a week. Um, so in some, it's probably good and bad, right? So I'm going in there and I'm going to add that green in again for another highlighter color. I love it. So just gently kissing it, right? Like it's my grandma, my abuela, my Nona. Oh, I love it. I love this. And then I will go in now. What color should we go in with? Let's go in with the blue. A little bit of blue. It snowed in Calgary last week, but that's not unusual, right? Like I would expect when we say in Calgary, it could happen or in um, Winnipeg, but not usually Ontario way, but maybe I'll take it as long as it's going to turn around, right? Vicki, probably two more weeks of lockdown. Yeah. Girl, this, these are bright. I love them so much. Oh, yes. I have to send those to you right now because these came in late. So remind me um, to pop them in the mail. So I will get them out to you guys uh, on Monday. Do you have the gel crayons yet? Did I send you those? Because I'm not sure. A lot of this stuff was a little later coming to me. So let me know what I owe you. So I'm going to tap some of that blue right into these colors. Just let it float in there a little bit. We can let that drip. And kiss. A little kisser. Tie it in if we want to, because it can tie into those two colors. Make a new color. Oh, I love it. I'll just add some water. And some tappies. Oh my goodness, that turquoise that just happened this mint color but we're not doing that just yet I feel like that needs to be the next step so look away pretend you can't see that Carmelita how are you how are you my friend okay I'm gonna go in with some purple sip sip is it water tonight, Kim? What are you sipping? Is it your rum? It is Friday night. 
So I am sipping iced coffee, a peach bubbly, and ice water. I have not got in my water content at all today. I didn't eat very well today either. You know, when you get like that, too busy and you don't eat. So I literally just had protein for supper. I didn't even eat a vegetable with it. It was just quick. Whatever. I'll go to bed and wake up and tomorrow can be a new day with new food choices and drinking my water. Okay, let's throw a little bit of purple down. Oh, love it. Love it. So do you see what happens? Magic is happening in there too. That the one pigment is pushing the other pigment out and I'm loving that. Just finished washing windows on the house and cleaned a car. We are getting a pressure washer tomorrow to do all of those things. Sleam and clear for you tonight. Hello, Jennifer. I was You were bad with your water today too. Purple is awesome for us in Louisiana. Yes, it is. So I'm digging that. It's very pretty. So now what do we have left? Um, I'm going to put some pink right here and then some orange. And then we'll let this dry. And we have the start of a background, right? Pink is what I was doing. How's the ice maker? I absolutely love it. I use it every single day. I use it every single day. It was not a cheap purchase, but it was worth every single penny if you like ice that you can chew. So I love it. Just like Mr. Tim Holtz and Mario and their Opal ice maker. It was worth every penny for me because I use it every single day and it actually helps me drink my water. I will drink more. Are those considered fluorescent or bright? I would say neon. When we were selecting the colors, we were going on the uh, fluorescent neon, neon. My goodness, I couldn't even get that out. Neon palette. So yes, 100% um, are. All of them are from, like you don't have a lot of fluorescent in the um, kind of blue and purple, but it really shows up in the pink, orange, and um, pink, orange, and yellow. But uh, that's, they are, when you we had the color selection from the manufacturer, they are definitely on the neon um, scale. So this will be our base, and then we can do some other magical things on top. What is the ice maker? It's the Opal ice maker, but it's switched here in Canada. It's like a GE one. Um, I absolutely love it. If you like soft ice that you can chew, that's what this is. And for my American friends will know, it's ice like at Sonic. It's Sonic ice. And I absolutely love it. And we don't have that anywhere here in Canada. I don't know if a rest, uh, maybe a convenience store might have it, but we don't have that kind of ice in Canada. I only ever have it when I go to um, the US. Sonic, I think Chick-fil-A's ice is like that. Chickafil, as I say. Um, what color? Orange. So, um, yes, I love, love, love it. So it is a countertop ice maker. I drink so much more water. Yes, it is. But here it's incredibly expensive. Um, so I know a lot of people would look at it and go, you're a wacko. I cannot believe that you did that. But I love it. I gifted it to myself and I use it every single day. But if you get one, you do have to buy distilled water so you don't get any calcium buildup in it. That's what Mr. Mario told me. Make sure that you use distilled water, Miss Vicky. And I said, okay, Mario, and I love it. Yeah, I love it. I have friends that have it too, and they loved it. And then I was like, I'm in, I'm buying it. Okay, I'm squishing this one down a little bit like it's the rock because it's the last one. So you see the orange separates a little bit. It's almost like um, you'd have to build this because it does look very yellowy. But I'm gonna tap some of that in there. Oh, I love this. This is like 1980. It's happening all over my um, page. Oh, that hair keeps coming back. That DNA wants to be on my page. 
I'm just going to go with this because it's a good base. It's a good starting point. So let's give it a little blaster with a heat gun. Am I missing any questions, friends? Did your mom call it Chickafil? And here, can I tell you something? Because as a Canadian, I never... I keep doing that every time I'm with you guys. Just a second. Dropping my... Um, uh, what do you call this thing? That you plug your plugs into? Uh, extension bar thing? I keep dropping it every time I talk with you guys. Um, so the only way I even knew what Chick-fil-A was until we had gone south or and i'm sure it's other places but it's when we went to florida and myrtle beach was in the weight watchers fast food guide so i would just look at it quickly not really having any clue what it was and i just read it as chickafil so i remember going to california and i was teaching a class for prima and they said, do you want to go and get some Chick-fil-A? And I was like, Chick-fil-A, what is that? And then I went, oh, you mean chick a -fil? And they thought that was hilarious. Uh, so every time that I would see the girl who had gone with us, she would be, what did you call Chick-fil-A again? And we would laugh. And we would laugh. So I'm taking most of the moisture out and we're going to go in here now when we're done like look at the turquoise that the green and the blue made so you already see that these will blend and make a uh, beautiful secondary and tertiary colors so not patient enough to dry it for four hours so what are we going to do we're going to roll it and pick up that extra moisture Um, an in and out Burger. I only went for the first time when I was in California. Who took me to in and out Burger for the first time? You know who I think it was? Frank Garcia took me to in and out Burger for the first time. Isn't that funny? Lots of Prima experience there with my friend Frank. And I thought it would be this like super like detailed menu. And I come to realize that it's very simple, isn't it? But what is a special thing you ask for there? Like, what is a thing that's not, um, uh, didn't know to blend? Um, there's something special you ask for in an out burger, right? That to get off the menu, but it's not on the menu. I don't know. Am I making that up? But it is just burgers and fries and milkshakes, I think they're right. I don't think they have anything else there, do they? Very dirty, having a mess everywhere. So guess what I'm gonna go and do now? So we know they work as texture paste because I showed you that. We know they will work with water and you can dilute them for watercolor. Um, where is the purple and orange from separate kit? No, it's all in the same kit, right? They're all here. Do, 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 six colors that come in this one. Get it lettuce wrapped, I love it animal style what's animal style what does that mean isn't that funny i just know when i went in there he ordered some, and i'm just like uh, i have no clue just get whatever my friend because i don't know these things because i have never been here before so i'm going to go in with this stencil this is going to be my stencil of choice and i'm going to start with the orange and i'm going to put it down with my stencil brush and I'm going to stencil it on. So now you can have these awesome colors that dry very quickly, but you don't have to add water. So we have this option too. So I'm going to take my stencil brush and I'm going to pick it up in a circular motion. And I'm going to now layer some pattern into my, oh, love it. So I'm layering it on the color, but remember the orange kind of separated. Um, so it looks yellow underneath, but it was the orange color. Yes, this year you probably have the first texture paste. These are the original or the new ones that just came out with color study. 
Okay, and now I'm going to clean my stencil brush so I can go into another color. Okay, just mist it with water till no pigments coming off of it. And we will also wipe that up. Now, you know, if I was working on my own and not doing this live, I would have misted that and used it on something because why waste it on here? But don't forget too, with the type of pigment, we're getting a whole different kind of dealio um, that the colors might separate because to make that neon, whatever the process is, it's always good to play with this stuff to see what you're going to get, right? So I know now the orange, when I water it down, I have to play with it and see if I can layer it to get an actual orange color or if it's always going to go kind of yellow when it is um, mixed with water. So we'll practice and play. Join late, but glad to be here. Hi, Brenda. Okay. So I'm going to take that now too. Remember with the texture, sometimes I like to go on lightly and just smooth out how it goes through the stencil. Okay, let's go in with some yellow. I'm gonna work with two different stencils on this page. So I'm gonna go with the polka dot and the tile. And let's see now with the yellow. And take a little bit. Okay. So you just spread it out so it's not super thick on your plastic sheet. Because if it's too thick, then you're going to get a bunch of bumps through your page, right? So you could take it, you could miss that as well if you don't want it to be too thick. But just do your thing. Let's see, what's the yellow look like now? Oh, I love it. Isn't that fun? I love it. This is like a whole party going on on this background. So things, right? Let's grab a sheet of foundations paper. So instead of wasting, we could take and you can have a sh an off sheet that you just come and put your stuff down on. So you are not, in fact, wasting your product. Like, see how far this will go? Because it is heavier body. So you got all that business going on. So you could have a couple backgrounds. And this is great when you're making cards or whatever you're doing. That you could have some backgrounds. If you're, you're going to run it through your silhouette. I will mist on my dirty stencil. And I will wipe that on there, too. So sometimes you'll get a pattern, sometimes you don't, depends how much water, but why waste it all on a paper towel, right? The other thing that can happen is you can also mist your stencil brush and you could go on here with what's on. Now I blue paint on there. I see it. We'll see if it picks up. I don't know. Um, but if you see something go a little green in there, that's just where it picked up. But I did not put any more um texture paste on there that's just what was on my stencil but like I said stencil's dirty so just kind of ignore that let's buff those little blue marks off oh my goodness right there that should just blow your mind so all I did was miss what was already left on my stencil brush look at that <gasps> oh probably my favorite thing right wish that paper wasn't so hard to get which paper which paper is hard for you to get well you know what when we are it's a new product I think tonight is one of those let's play with texture paste so you can see what it does and instead of me trying to rush through it and then do a layout at the same time tonight is just our discovery night right totally freaking love this you watch us we're gonna do some things be ready for it but that yellow is beautiful Okay, set that aside again. Cleaned up my things now. Just by putting it on that paper, cleaned everything off. Let's get our background back out. And we will go in now up here. Make sure, did I clean it? Yes. 
We'll go in with this stencil, but I'm going to turn it now like this and put the green up here. Let's do the things. Yes, the baby wipe. Great idea. I'm looking forward to you coming on a, a Vibu cruise with me one day. Oh my goodness, we have so much fun. Where are you, Tina? Where are you located that you're having a hard time finding uh, foundations paper? It does sell out very fast, but I know it's in stock at American Crafts. So I want to know where you're shopping. If you are in Canada, if you're in the U.S., if where you are in those places. But I linked it um, in here because, you know, I put my um, share sale links on. Because if you're going to go shop at any of those stores and you follow my link, it just helps me with providing the content here. Um, but I want to know where you are and why you're having it. You found it on uh, Amazon. Yep. And I will have it back in my store as well when I uh, stock my store. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to work lightly, very lightly. Just going to kind of create that green pattern. Love it. I come out a little bit up here. So watch. One blast. So now it'll be even more diluted. <gasps> love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. I'm going to wipe that and soften, right? Because it is a little textural. I just like to soften those edges where it builds up around the corner or the edge of the stencil very lightly. I'm going in there like with a feather touch. Isn't this pretty friends? Are you digging it? I want to know out there who was anybody looking at it and go, Oh, in Australia. Now does spotlight carry it? Cause I know spotlight does carry some of my stuff, but if you reach out to Natalie may, um, she is in Australia and I know that she carries, will bring my stuff in for you. Natalie may. And it's, I think Natalie may design. I know for sure if there's another store from um, Australia here, uh, please let us know if you carry it so we can help her out. Tina wants the stuff. Let's find her somewhere to buy it. But I know Natalie does bring my stuff in. She is my friend. She does bring it in. Okay, let's throw this, what's left on it, on that yellow background just for fun. I'm not wasting Where's the paintbrush? Do you see how you start working and then it gets messier and messier and messier and then you can't find any of the things? Am I alone or do you guys find that too? I'm like, oh yes, Pinky's making a mess. Let it dry. Uh, Natalie May is awesome, yeah, right? And I, I think she would bring it in um, because she does lots of mixed media, so I wouldn't be surprised if she doesn't use it right? With all of the other stuff that she does. Um, check my little scrapbook store. They are oh, in New Jersey. Yep. Sales online. Uh, love this. Was hoping you would get more of your line in your store. I'm near Kingston. It will, and I'll be stocking it. It will happen. It's just like I said, um, the color study weekend. I need a little bit of a breather. I need to regroup and then I will stock it. And um, if you are ordering some of the new kits that come out, it will be in there. Like there'll be lots of stuff coming. But like I said, I've linked it. It's I found the texture paste is on the three links. No, two links. It is at the two links that I put in um, the description on Facebook and on my YouTube channel. And if you're going to shop at e any of those stores... If you follow a link, it just helps me out, right? doesn't cost you anything, but it helps with providing the content. Okay, I'm going to put this on here. And remember, if you want it to go on a little lighter, just one blast. It just uh, waters this down a little bit. And it won't be as heavy when it goes through the stencil. So I want this one to come up off a little bit.
hard to do with one hand, right? I don't want to move the stencil. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Oh, so pretty. Isn't that pretty? And then anywhere that it blended into um, the other colors, you're getting a little bit of like a teal color. Very nice. I'm going to make sure I clean the stencil very well now. I have the hardest time finding stuff on my desk when you're working on a project. You're like, I just had that. What did I do with it? So now I'm going to clean this with my stencil brush because it's doing double duty. It's cleaning in the little crevices of the stencil and it's cleaning my stencil brush off. Because I can see it in there, there was still some yellow on there. So I made a really pretty new turquoise instead of it going in as a true blue. But that's all right. That's all right. I love that. Do you see when you layer? Do you see the yellow and the green? The ye the green and the blue? Love that. That's what I was trying to say. There's no yellow in whatever I just said. Are you and Natalie's secret says sisters because you sound a lot alike. I say love that all the time, though. Does she say that? <laughs> love it. Probably forever, right, friends? It is they make fun of me um, because I will say, oh, love it. It's my favorite. And then people will say, you have a lot of favorites. And I'm like, yes, I do. It's all my favorite. Throw that on there because I can use this page later with my cut files that's funny I'll have to listen now in which Natalie is that Natalie May or does Natalie D'Souza say that there we go okay let's go in now we have purple and pink love it and I have to say when diluting it Putting that little mist will help you not get the um, chunky bits on the edges. So let's try it with the purple. Um, and this actually worked out perfectly using the stencil. It's going to end the perfect way. So um, I'm going to go in this way. But I'll do, I'm going to mist my... Oh, clean that though. It's green. So that will make mud if I don't clean the stencil off. I didn't do it. I was slacking. There we go. So I am going to post about my, um, a little bit about my uh, dream box tomorrow because if you have been kind of on the fence, about buying the dream box it their biggest sale of the year is going on and i will share my links with you so you can get the discount codes i will post that tomorrow but it's very exciting i love that thing and some of you guys were asking about the table on it is the table sturdy the whole thing is super sturdy like you wouldn't expect it with a, a piece of furniture that the table goes up and down like that and it is incredibly stable. So I will share all of that stuff tomorrow. And then I was super excited because you guys, if you follow me, know that I get my, um, I'm gonna go out this way. I get my uh, FabFitFun box and it was today, the customization opened up today and the Ray Dunn guacamole and um, salsa is in the summer box. So I'm going to post about that tomorrow with a link. I'll put my link up there because if you haven't ordered it before, you can get 10 bucks off. 10 bucks off. So um, I will put those. I will add that. But I have to say, oh my goodness, I am so excited to get that salsa and guacamole. I was on there immediately at 12 o'clock when it opened today. 
Okay, let's go in here. Oh my goodness, this is going to be pretty for my purple lovers. Look at that. See what I'm saying? I just put a little mist on it and it goes through way smoother. Way smoother. I'm going to put a little bit off the page just because I can. See that? Looks like ink. It looks like ink, like chalky ink. I love that. And the little spoon comes with it. It's so cute. I uh, I made my Fab Fit Fun Box edits today too, and you chose the guac and salsa. My husband asked me if I'm done with the Ray Dunn phase. <laughs> I just I wanted the guacamole and salsa. I will use that by the pool. I was very excited for that when I saw that. I'm like I love it. And the Dream Box has new totes. Yes. Where did you get the Ray Dunn uh, salsa and guacamole on um, in my Fab Fab Fit Fun Box? The summer box has it as um, one of your customizations. So I am going to I'll add a link to that because if you haven't ordered it before, you can get ten bucks off. I'll give you my link, and you can get ten bucks off. But I was freaking over the moon. Do you see this, friends? We totally have to do the paper towel art. I have to put that on my list of things we're going to do. Because look how pretty that is. I was excited. Could you tell? Let's show you another little tricker. Let's see if I can get it to work. Okay. So that purple is very pigmented. Darker colors always have way more color load in there. So let's see if we can do this little tricker. Need to make it very wet. Let's put this one down. Hi. You're home. Yeah. Hi. Oh yeah, you were early tonight. Yeah. What do you, Kenzie? Oh, you? you like my Barbie shirt, don't yeah, you? Yeah, no, you look good. Look at everybody is down here uh -huh. saying hello to me, friends. So I don't know if I made this too wet. We'll see if that happens. But this stencil, I'm on live. Oh. Do you think I was just talking to myself yeah. down here? <laughs> <laughs> Devin, didn't you tell her I have friends? I told her she didn't hear me. She didn't believe you? I like the neon. Isn't it pretty? That's cool. They're new. You need some color. Did you just, just put some foundation work. on, though? I just finished work. I know, but you... You look like you need a tan, dude. Dude, I know. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> look at what's happening here. So I'm going with her for a bit and I'll be back. Okay. I love you. Okay. Guess where I'll be? Here. Playing with my friends. Okay. Bye. Okay, bye. I'm not going to lift it. So saw what happened there. Watch. I'm going to let it sit and soak in a bit. Oh, my goodness. That purple and yellow just blew my mind, though. Sorry. I always say to you guys, right, when um, when you hang out with me, you're in the Booten house. I always say it's I invite you into my home. So my family comes to talk to you guys and talk to me because it's what happens here. So sorry if that's not your cup of tea. You might not want to watch my stuff because everybody comes down, all of them. Like, look at tonight. The only one who hasn't been down so far is Riley. Riley. Okay. So let me show you now the pink. So we will have a background to make a layout. Even though I said I wasn't going to make a layout next week, it's probably going to happen. Or what if I, how do you guys feel about this? What if I make a new free cup file before I close the store down? Or I could put it, I'm not going to put it on vickybooten.com. I'm going to put it on Vicky Booten creative community. So what I'm going to do is put a cup file that we're going to cut out of this background. So we can do something with it. It could be a layout or whatever, but I'm going to do a cup file because I think that'll be fun. Oh, I'm totally digging that friends. Isn't that pretty? Super pretty. So we know they work as a texture. But this is something else. But we have to use this pink now. Let's go see what happened with my purple. Did it soak long enough? I think so. It doesn't look super wet. So now, fingers crossed, friends. Oh, watch. 
I'm going to blow your mind. Get ready. I'm going to layer this on top and see if I can do it. Let's see if we can put some pink polka dots in some of our flowers. Oh, we'll see what happens there. I think it's going to work. Let's see. Did the flowers turn out? Ooh, I don't know. It was pretty wet. I might have went too crazy with the water, but let's try it. Oh, look what happened. All the dots from my... I was excited, but I made it too wet. I'll show you how to do this better. I can do a better job with that. I see techniques happening here though, friends, as I watch. Because here's the whole thing. This should be your takeaway. That um, as you watch the product start to work. Can I place this again? As you watch the products start to work with other mediums, you start to see magical things happen and you realize like, oh my goodness, I just saw a technique happen and that's what's happening here. But I just decided, oh, look it. See, don't give up. Don't give up on the things. Look how pretty that is. I love it. Gotta watch though when it's that wet and you're going over it with a stencil brush that you don't pill your paper. But I'm just softening where I had some rough edges. Watch what I'm gonna do because as I'm seeing that happen. Am I missing any questions? I love my favorite thing with my family comes down. If it's Devin or whatever, and she comes down and do you hear her? She'll be like, oh, I like that. Cause she um, is seeing the product or something for the first time. So what I'm doing here is I want to introduce, reintroduce some of the yellow back on top. So I'm just going to now tap some of that business in there. You know what song has been in my head all day? Like, I think it's a seal song, right? Kiss from a rose. Is that seal? I don't know, but it's been in my head all day long. I don't know why, but I've been walking around singing that all day long. So sorry if um, it's coming out while I'm talking to you guys. Can't help it. It's in my head. It's my elevator, elevator music of the day. This is going to be so beautiful. Um, we have a lot we're going to be doing with these um, texture paste. I'm just saying there's something kind of magical with these neons. So I'm grabbing another sheet because I don't want to let this go to waste. So let's see what happens when we blend that yellow and pink together a little bit. I think it could be. Oh my goodness, the most amazing color ever. It's almost, mm, I don't know, guava. I don't know. It's beautiful. That's all I do know. Oh, it is like the most beautiful color. Okay. So we'll throw that down because why would we waste? That would have went on a paper towel and it would have been a travesty and what I'm going to do is tap clean water into it just to kind of break it up oh my gosh I love this color and that was with some of the yellow and the pink and then let's just set that aside to dry because it's a layer at some point we can use it as a layer right let it run oh yeah love that let it drip Love it. Magic. Magic happen all around us. Okay. Did I do the pink? Yeah. So let's see. So that was just cleaning up. That was just some cleanup. But let's see. Where can I throw this? Okay. Remember all that jazz that was going here? Let's see if we can make that anything happen with this. 
brayer. Need the brayer. Because I'm going to imply pressure. Yeah, I don't know why that song's in my head. And you know what? Rich came home and guess what song was in Rich Booten's head? Baby shark do 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 do. And I'm like, honey, how is that even possible? Like, I don't think he's ever even heard that song in his life. We don't have little kids. He is not on the interwebs. And then I sang it and he yelled at me, why are you singing that? I'm like, well, it's your fault. You sang it, you know. It is cotton candy, 100% Kari. I can't wait to see this paired with the color study papers and embellishments, yes. Hi, Jennifer, do you like that? Which one are you singing now? Seal, <laughs> curse you. <laughs> ah, I love it. This is gonna be awesome, but I'm gonna show you something. So I, I am teaching you, showing you like 20 techniques are happening here tonight. So I don't know if you're keeping up with it, but we will be revisiting a lot of this. Now, I feel like a little blue is in order and I'm going to show you. So you're going to laugh. This is what I'm doing with it. I'm literally just going like this. I'm going to just kind of paint my brush. Just a second. Stupid things are happening. Okay. A little bit of water. And I'm going to put it through this stencil. And it is like totally like fair colors. Like this is carnival colors. Let's go just watch what's going to happen here. When I lift the stencil. So this was just that dirty pink stencil. Oh, it's so pretty. Give it a little blast, but we also have to, oh, before I blast it too much, I want to soften some of these dots. Okay. So magic totally is happening here. I'm going to put it up to the camera. I don't know if you're going to see it, but I really hope you, um, what do they say in this, the the uh, Starburst commercial or whatever? Catch the catch the wave or whatever. I want you to catch the fever, the artful technique fever, where you see the benefit of a day of play. Right. I don't want you to. Um, miss the opportunity of when you just mix and mess around with your mediums, the things that you learn that you would not have seen happen if you don't play with it. So look at, this was my drop sheet, the sheet that I'm just kind of putting the mess on. Oh my, I think I, I'm telling you guys, there's going to be a whole month of this color palette because as I'm mixing and playing, absolute magic is happening. Like you would never get this with a regular um, yellow. Like it's the neon is something magical. Uh, and I'm very, very, very excited. Very excited. Okay, let's see if I can pick some of that pink up. Everything's behind me, so just give me a second. So see how I just like clean this? But I'm going to See if I can't pick some of those polka dots up. Because why not? So by pressing it and not lifting the stencil right away, I'm hoping I am forcing it into the fibers of the paper so it's not just sitting on top and I will still get some of the polka dot. It's very subtle, but it's pretty. And you couldn't really have done that on your own. Like just without doing it on the dirty stencil. So I take that and now we'll clean it because I can't really get anything else out of it. Tried. I gave it the, what is it? The old college try. But I'm going to have a really pretty paper towel. Oh yeah. I'm telling you friends, like look at that. Look at when we dry this paper towel. I'm missing all the comments because I'm so excited to play. 
So just a second. Do do. Would the neon pop more with gesso uh, treated black? I will do that. Why don't we put it on our list? I'm going to do it on black next, and you're going to see. Yes, see how this is very soft and subtle, like cotton candy? I'm going to show it, to show you on the black. So I feel like the rest of this month needs to be left to these texture pastes. Because what I would hope is this will give you, if you love them, and maybe you were on the fence because you're like, I don't know if I need them. I don't know if it's my jam. This will give you an opportunity to order some texture paste if you want to play for the rest of the month. But, like, look at just there. That was a mess. Like, I just literally was cleaning, cleaning, cleaning on it. This was that dirty stencil with a little blue through it. Love it. Okay. So I'm going to do a few things here, making sure I clean all of my stuff because it's just what Vicky does. I take care of it so it lasts for a long time. I know that I'm weird. This just makes me freaking happy. That stencil is like the best. Anything with circles, right? But I'm just telling you guys that pink and the yellow together is really delicious. It takes me a lot to clean up the stencil brush. Am I using too much paint? I would say probably, yeah. Everything should only sit right on. It's the same when I talk about the ink blending tool. When I talk about the stencil brush, all of my pigment just sits right on top of it. It doesn't soak in. So I would say yes. And what are you using your stencil brush with? What, what are you using the stencil brush with? Is it paint? Or, or are you using the texture paste right now? I have the first colors and need to decide if I need more colors. It's just, they're totally different, right? And maybe I'll even bring the old ones in and we'll mix them together and see what we can get. See what it's like with the um, OG and then the new kids on the block. Okay, so I wanted to show you with elevating a ready-made background. I love them, Natalie. You're going to love these. And Natalie's crazy and she'll often because she won't wait for me. Did you order these already on your own, Nat? Or are you waiting for me to send them to you? Because sometimes Natalie will just be like, it takes too long. I'm just going to buy them. So I don't know if she has them or not. So I'm going to grab my ready-made backgrounds and I'm going to find one. Like, look it say something like this or i want one that is a pretty neutral ish that could be i'm gonna go with this you tried and you couldn't find them well like i said i'll send them i just i have to make myself a note um on monday and i have to order more because that's what I sent to my prize winners from the color study weekend. If you guys want a prize, guess what's coming your way? The new texture paste. So they all shipped. I'm very proud of myself that I got that done. So see, this was actually made with the original texture paste in the dark blue, blueberry pie. This was made with the stamp, the, stencil stamping so i'm going to show you this on the black i'll show you stencil stamping on the black uh but i will take one from you yeah for sure i'll send it okay so this is a ready-made background if you're just joining in or you walked away and you're just coming back and now i'm going to elevate it with some texture so let's find something like the polka dots would work great as an, a new layer <gasps> pie chart so I'm going to do it right here and then a little over here. So what color would you like me to use on here? Because I could use any of them. I could do very subtle and put the blue on top. I could put green. Um, I could put purple. So whoever the first person is to pull out a color, 
uh, and just don't say blue because I don't want to use blue. So I'll use anything hot pink would look, the pink would look great. Yellow. Okay, Gina, I'm going to tell you I'm using yellow because I'm going to follow through with what you said. It's not going to pop as much as the other colors, okay? So um, let's do it. But I'm going to show you one of my other tricks. So let's, maybe we'll use the yellow and the pink. Let's do those both, okay? So what I'm going to do with this, ready for it? I'm going to use the yellow through the stencil, okay? And then I'm going to use the yellow and the pink with the palette knife. So that's what's going to happen here. It's going to be very pretty. Get ready for it. Are you ready? So we'll put yellow on through the stencil with the stencil brush. So I'm going to load my stencil brush and give it a blast of water. So it's almost like an ink. So the first layer is going to go on like an ink. Oh, it's so beautiful. And because it's on top of the blue, it gets, oh, this is going to, you watch, you are going to love this. Oh my goodness. Can you see it? I'm in freaking love with that. So blast with water. So it's, I'm going to turn it this way though. Okay. Cause I really want it to go off the page. And now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Um, telling you, you guys know, if you follow me, I work so much, I don't get a chance to play with a lot of the stuff right away. So Friday nights, I'm always very thankful for because it is my time to play with my product. So I'm going to go in here now and I'm going to put a little yellow on, but I want to show you one of the other things I like to do. So I'll put my first layer down with my stencil brush and then I'm going to come in with my palette knife and put a textural layer through it. But I think let's do a two tone version. So we'll put some of the pink down and I'm going to lift this with my palette knife and pu pull the two colors simultaneously. You ready for it? It's bright, it's cheery, but it's almost magical. It's like you turned a switch on with these colors. Like it is really just kind of magical. So see what I'm doing? Neapolitan. So now let's add a little bit of texture through that, making that secondary color of like awesomeness. I'm gonna clean that because I want more of the pink just on this side. Look at that. So that's gonna dry like the texture paste. I'm gonna line my stencil up again. How did I have it? I think like that, it looks. Yes, I think that's how it was. We're gonna see if I'm gonna make a mess or not. But this freaking vibrant orange is everything. It's absolutely beautiful. So let's pick that pigment up again. I'm trying to get the two colors on here. And I'm not putting it everywhere, but I do want a little textural action going on. Oh, isn't it pretty? Absolutely love this. And we can't waste that. So I'm going to move that for a second. We're going to mist, mist, mist this. And I need another piece of cardstock or um, foundations paper. So just a second. Oh, I lied. Let's see what it looks like on our black. Okay. But because it's very diluted, I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try it. because we do the things here, right? Let's see what happens. 
when we do stencil stamping look at if you were to put a second piece of paper uh we have to revisit this whole night what has been happening because magic is happening all around me i can't even i can't even I'm going to put a little green down there now, and I'm going to put it through the stencil. I, and I don't know if you guys can see it, but like 12 million techniques are happening as I'm doing this. Like I just noticed something I should have done. I would like to do a tag night. Would anybody join me for a tag night where I say to you guys, get like a, a you need a bunch of tags grab 20 tags with texture paste. So we're going to do a 20 texture paste tag night. So this is obviously going to be subtle on here because it's on a black, but we will also go through with texture paste. So watch when I take the moisture out because you're seeing a lot of wet. And this is not going to hold the wet mediums as easily as the foundations. It will buckle a little bit, but we're all right with that. Oh my goodness, that's freaking awesome. I'm going to see if I can't get a little bit more of that transferred. Like a little bit. Let's see. Can we do it? I don't know. Uh, sorry, guys, I'm not watching the comments at all. I think a tag would be fun. Like, I think, why don't we look at next Friday being 20 tags with texture paste. So what will you need for that? Stamps, stencils, a brayer. We could even do some gesso. And we could do um, just tags because I just feel like it needs to be something and you could make them out of foundations paper. I'm going to make mine out of foundations. And I just would like to do like a 20 tags with um, the texture paste because I think that it could be a lot of fun. And I look at it like that's what I'm going to do. And if you guys would like to join me for that, it will be fun. So I'm going to have to do a few things on this black, but like I said, it is, um, you have to work for it a little bit more with the black cardstock. The more, um, the heavier the paint, the more uh, pigment you'll get. Like it'll show up more. So I'll show you with texture paste. What size would you recommend? Like uh, three by four. Five, I think is that like a tag size I would like them like that right a tag night I just think it would be a lot of fun so I'm doing my first layer here and I will definitely put this uh, maybe not I'll flatten it later I'll just put it under some heavy um, card quick cleanup and then I'm going to show you the things I am really digging it. There are some really fun color palettes um, coming out of this. So you know what song is in my head now? Um, Sean Mendez. <laughs> I wonder. I don't know if that's what it's called, but that's what song is in my head. That's what I'm singing right now. All the high part. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm crazy. Tags in black and let's do black, white and craft, Lisa. Let's get all crazy up in here. Black, white and craft. And as I kind of plan for it, if I change and gonna add anything else to it, like if you have an embossing folder, make put one of your tags through an embossing. Oh, that night, I'm going to put a list out because I feel like we need an embossing folder that night. If you have that. If you don't, it will still be fun. But I just feel like we should do the things. Right? I just feel like we should do the things. I have to clean this before I will go on because um, I can see a lot of product on there. So I just don't want it to gunk up my stencil. I just wish that I had more free time to make art. 
because the ideas really come as I just have time to sit down and discover. And that's why I'm hoping the one thing, if there's one golden nugget you take away from Vicki Booten, is that practice and play is the key to get comfortable with what you're doing and to discover. It's all the discovery literally comes through just playing with it. Like you would not figure this stuff out if you didn't. Like no one would. No artist would come up with new techniques or um, new ways that they're exploring their art if they did not allow themselves the time to just mess around. Right? You got to mess around with it. But look at that. So when this dries, like I'll cheat a little bit, but I don't generally heat these. But if I do a quick layer, it will make them chalky. And you will see. But what I love about the ready-made backgrounds is all of the first layers, which would have taken a little bit of time to make and would have been really wet, is done for you. So just by putting some um, texture paste, and I, you could totally watch what we could do with the gold glaze and do one more layer. Oh, my son is on his computer up there and he is yelling. I got to watch because normally you should let this dry a bit, but show you that we could put another layer of just gold polka dots on here. And that will dry with the gold polka dots. And it also could be more light like that. And with the texture on some of them. So some are heavy and some aren't. And then you have a layer of gold on there too. And when it dries, they'll be totally sparkly. Love it. Set that aside. And now what do we get? We have this, we're not gonna waste that. So where are we gonna put it? Oh, <laughs> I found something. Does the base chip? or fall off the paper when it dries. I've never had that happen. Um, so I can't say it has for me. I've never with any of the glazes cause they're acrylic based. So they're, they've got a little bit of springy rubberness to them a little bit. So no, I would not, I have never had that. Has anyone had any of the paste do that? Cause I would tell you honestly if it had, right? And it has not. So I just took that gold glaze and now, oh yeah, on that pink, oh baby. So what are we gonna do? I'm putting this just so I don't transfer the wet gold through it. And we're going to do that. And we're gonna lift it up and do one more. Right here maybe, I don't know where that came from. I don't know where the, um, orange stuff came from oh pink and gold this is almost like making a little rose goldy action going on do you see that so pretty so we set that aside to dry because what would you have done that with that you would have cleaned it off on a paper towel and now we have prettiness And the black, I'm coming back to the black. I just had to clean my stuff off, right? Yeah, I've never ever had an issue with it because like I said, that's why you can't heat it either, right? With a heat gun, because it's acrylic, so it's plastic. So because it's plastic in there, um, I think that it stays on your paper. I, like I'm not a chemist, so I can't tell you what the, but yeah, I've never had that. So that's a great question, but with any of the glazes, I've not had any issue. Do you see I have issues though with that I have to clean everything up? We aren't even done using it and I'm putting all the lids back on everything. I can't help myself. So let's clean it. See, double duty. I can clean my stencil brush off that still had the gold on it. 
and this is how I clean. Like when you were saying you have a hard time getting your stencil brush clean, like look at, I've used the same one for every medium and there is nothing left on it, right? So that is exactly what you're watching me do is how I would teach you. This is how you clean it. This is how you take care of your stuff. But um, if you notice, I use the same stencils every week. And I am a believer in cleaning it so you don't lose the integrity of the pattern because acrylic will all bunch up in those little circles and they'll no longer be good sharp circles. They'll just be like a little tiny pin dot. So I just like clean your mediums, clean your stencils, clean your tools, and then you won't have to buy the same tool again to replace it because it's all gunked up. You can um, buy something else. Yay. Okay, the black. So look at some of that moisture is left, which I love this kind of hint. But now let's go in with one of the stencils and we'll add some texture. Let's see what it looks like. Because I only have the one sheet here, but I'm going to put this guy on. Okay. So I am going to use my art wedge because I have a longer surface and watch what I think this is going to be fun. It'll either be a hot mess or it's going to be really pretty. So let's try it because I'm okay with that. It's a piece of paper. If I don't like it, no biggie. So I'm going to put some of the pink here. And I'm going to put some orange and some yellow. So even if they mix together, it won't make mud. Let's see what we're going to get. I can already tell it's going to be really awesome. So you could mix any of these with the gold, the iridescent, the silver too. Just so you know, that could happen. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we get. Oh, yeah. I'm going to wipe that off just so I can get true pink before I blend them. So I'm dragging a lot of the medium off where you could um, put it on heavier with a palette knife but I'm picking a lot of it up with my art wedge. Are you ready? Let's see. I love it. Isn't that pretty? Okay, got to let that dry, but we need another piece of foundation because we can't mi um, miss or leave this uh, prettiness here. So let's just grab it. Let's just grab it. Hi, Melody. Thanks for the fun. Yep, and I'm almost done because I know that uh, it's beautiful on the black. It's just a whole different look, but this I think is going to be really pretty. So I have an idea. So we are going to use this as a card or it could be um, for a... It could be for a... Um, art journal page or a mini book page but watch what's going to happen here so i actually want it to kind of blend in there a little bit so i'm going to do that oh look at that oh my goodness friends so imagine if watch watch what i'm doing so I'm going to talk about this in the tag day, but watch what's going to happen here. So I have, this is in my pad of foundations. Okay. So I'm going to take that now. And we are going to make a double print, a sandwich print. You ready? Oh. So see what happened there? Why waste that? 
but now I want to do something fun on here. You just have to keep in mind that you got to move a little fast because sometimes if you leave it and it's very thick underneath, what you're going to end up with is um, it will glue your stencil to the page. So just keep that in mind when you're doing some of this stuff. Like I'm going to go through it now with gold. I don't know where my little plastic sheet is because now I've created a disaster, a disaster space. Look, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this and see if it turns out. Okay. So gold glaze. All of the things are very dirty. So let's just throw water on it so that gold glaze is going to be happening but i don't want it too thick so i'm going to put some water through it and now i'm going to go through here with gold glaze it's very wet okay and i'm also going to take it with my palette knife and add a little bit of a textural layer as well. I don't have enough on there though. So let's let's break it up. Stipply. It's very heavy, so I don't know if I just messed it up, but I'm good with it. Just missed to break up some of those little painty marks. Pick it up. Let's see. Oh, let's see. Is it going to be pretty? <gasps> it's so pretty. And let's just do this to clean it off. So let's see what we got here. A little blast. So next week is going to be tags because we are literally, everything we clean off is going to go on the next tag. It is going to be a lot of fun. So when this dries, now we have this gold metallic prettiness with that rainbow stuff underneath. And then look at where we sandwiched. So next week is a tag, tag week. It's going to be tag, tag, tags because um, every single one, we're not gonna waste anything. It's gonna be like a very little paper towel usage because everything that happened on our paper towels is gonna happen on the sister tag or brother tag because we can't leave the boys out, okay? So let me just quickly do this and then we'll talk about, because this is, this is really, you know, how we roll here. For me, like seriously, that is a travesty that I didn't end up getting that on a piece of paper. So we are very much going to next week, we're going to cut a bunch of tags. So we got to think about this. I would say you probably going to need at least 20. And here's what I would do is get Cut it out of, if you're going to cut it out of foundations paper, or if you can use Tim Holtz, Ranger tags, whatever. But if you cut it out of, something magical just happened there. I can't wait to do that. I have to make notes. I have a lot of notes. A lot of stuff went on in my brain tonight as I observed as I was going through that I have to make notes on. So if you take a sheet of foundations paper, which is 12 by 12, and you do maybe tags are three by six, so you can maximize what you're getting out of your um, sheet. All right. So it will be worth it. It is going to be, this was just, you were watching me tonight. Just play with it. Literally um, discovering how the products work. And next week we are going to do it. So you will have a technique tag book using um, your texture paste. And I'm going to use gesso. I might even use some um, matte acrylic gel. I don't know yet. I'm going to use the glazes. 
So whatever you have will be good. If you don't have those things, don't worry about it. You just will need the texture paste if you want to do it. So let's look at what we have. Sorry, friends, but I have to do this because um, I am very crazy. I just have to give myself a little cleanup or I'm going to ruin all of the things. So let me just quickly. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Clean up all of the things so that you can use them again later. Okay. Let's look at what we made. Lots of beautiful paper towel art. So that's why that's not going in the garbage. And where did we start? What, what did we start with tonight? I think it was this, right? The kissing. Look how pretty this one is. Whichever way you want it to go, right? It could be a layout. Um, and I'm sorry, because I'm not looking at your comments at all. The gold looks beautiful with the neon colors. Yes, it does. Once again, we will put a list of materials together and share it ahead of time. Yes. So make sure if you haven't already join the Vicki Booten creative community group page. Uh, Natalie will probably throw a link up there for you. Um, she mentioned at the start, she ordered some to put in her store, all three of them, my glazes. Yes. But like I said, um, I need a little bit of a break and an inventory. So uh, they're not going to go up for a little bit. When you were cleaning, I thought you left a big splotch at the top, but it was on my laptop screen. I love it. So this is what we started with on the white where we did kissing technique. And then we um, went through with a stencil brush and used it like that turquoise up there where the blue and the yellow mixed. Oh, I love it. Um, so we're going to do so many things next week. And then this, look at that black background when it dries, because it is still very wet, because this is definitely not the weight of a foundation's paper. But it will be pretty. I will probably cut it apart. It just kind of gives you an idea of how pretty they are on the um, black. If you want them like, bam, uh, neon on the black you will use that wait this one here I love um, what is the gray mat on the table this one here is a I have to remember what his name is who does the color bursts oh my goodness I can see his face and his dog and I can't remember his name Ken Oliver this is a Ken Oliver mat I don't know if you can get them anymore but it is like it's sticky so the only thing with this is you have to really work to clean it because everything, there's glitter all over it right now. Um, and then this one here is from Ranger. It's a craft mat. And then I ha also use a white one from, yes, Ken Oliver. And then I also use a white one from American Crafts. I have the Heidi Swap too. The thing why I liked the Ken Oliver is that it is a uh, big right? So it protects my workspace. My table is white. And you saw what a mess I make, right? So this is so beautiful um, with the gold in there in that pink. Mm, love it. And then that's where we sandwiched and brayered. Look how pretty that is. So we have a lot of action going on. And then we went through on the ready-made background that I laid in wet. Look how pretty that one turned out with the gold dots that we pulled through. See it? Metallic. And we did this, which was when we cleaned the gold and orange off. And then I cleaned the gold stencil with some stencil stamping. And I actually love how subtle and pretty this background is. And that's just stuff we would have wiped up with a paper towel. And then um, a lot of magic happened on here that when you layer these colors together and that yellow pops through is very beautiful. So um, I'm just going to flip the camera around because I want to talk to you for a minute. So I'm not, I usually will stand up, but you're just getting me down here, not looking very pretty because I want to talk to you now. Hi. Um, 
because I'm sitting and you can see my light and everything, but it's all good. What was your favorite? What was your favorite? Or what did you see tonight that you were like, um, wow, that was really, really pretty? Um, I want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. Because a lot of you guys stuck around for a long time. It is pink lemonade. Yes, I love that. We should call that one pink lemonade. I love that. So as I was playing with these tonight, lots of things um, were going through my head that I'm going to make lists of. And the tag class is going to be a perfect opportunity for you to make your own technique tag book. So um, it, it was kind of magic tonight, right? Hard to choose. I like the gold on the neon. Me too. Can you imagine the silver on there too? An iridescent mix with them. It's going to be really fun. The page you did with the ready-made background. Because look at, look at he split. Quick, quick, quick. Right? The background was all done. All you did, literally, that would be mixed media in minutes. That you just throw it down with a stencil brush or a palette knife and it's done. And that's why if you're new, if you're new, I'm looking at you. Um, this can be scary because you're looking going, oh my gosh, look at all that stuff. But really, when you think about it, it was the one package of um, texture paste that I did all those things with. Yes, I did add some of their crazy cousins like the gold glaze, but you didn't need to have that. And what I love is that um, there's lots of different ways that you can use them. But when you have something that's already ready made... So if you're like, I bought the ready-made backgrounds because I love the idea of it and I love that I don't have to get messy. Um, but that in a stencil brush with the glaze, with the gold glaze that you can just elevate it in like seconds, let it dry and air, you're good to go. All of it's done for you, I think is magical. And you like the neons on the black? Yes, if you like really bold, you'll love that. Um, first one, packaging technique with the stencils. Yep, and it all depends. You see... What I love tonight, see, all these golden nuggets and fireworks are happening tonight, right? Fireworks is that uh, I did lots of different applications and at least one of them is going to resonate with whatever your style is. And you're going to see that um, if I cut these out or punch them out or stamped on top of any of these backgrounds, then you could have contained funk if you were a very linear, clean background kind of person. Then just cut it out and put it on your clean background. And then you can find this can fit into any style, any style. So many beautiful creations. Thank you. I think that was super fun tonight. That was a lot of fun. And um, like always, I've been here for three hours, right? Eight, nine, ten. Yes, three hours, but... I was having fun and it's just kind of how I roll. So any questions before you lost a connection for a bit, but I went, uh, it went all quiet. Uh, when people in this area search to see what speed they have, it knocks out my internet. Oh yeah, that's crazy. No fireworks here. We have a fire band. Yeah, I don't want to light, your, light you up there, Kim. But yes, thank you so much for joining me tonight. That was fun. It was literally just an introduction to the new Vicky Booten uh, Color Study Neon Texture Paste. So it's a texture paste. It's a paint. It's a watercolor. So you can do lots of things. And uh, yes, please, thank you very much. Uh, it's Serenity, right? Retro RX. Um, please, thumbs up the video because if you're on uh, the YouTubes and if you haven't already subscribe so you don't miss me when I pop up on here and if you are on Facebook please make sure that you like and follow and leave comments so when this is no longer live and you're watching after the fact I'm still very happy to see you here please leave comments because any interaction is good interaction. So thank you so much. If you uh, are feeling like shopping at any of the links that I've put on both of these, they're there and it costs you nothing, but it certainly helps me provide all of this content for you guys. So thanks so much. Have a great weekend. Um, I'm back to instruction writing. So if you guys bought those kits, watch for that. It will be coming a small tease about what's coming in this, this summer. Um, it's lots of stuff is coming like you're gonna see there's vicky never sleeps <laughs> gonna be lots of fun stuff coming so um yay say hi to stacy am i supposed to say hi to stacy hi stacy um my table is full enough i love it 
Okay. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great weekend. And I hope you find some time to get uh, your art on, right? I hope you have some time to uh, play with your artful techniques and make sure that you, if you share a post anywhere that you tag me so I can see what you're up to too. So thanks a lot, guys. Yes. Happy Mother's Day to everybody this weekend. And we will see you next Friday. Thanks. Have a great weekend. Bye, guys.